Hello students, welcome to my today's um, lecture on how to create a Shopify partner account. Uh, this is going to be a uh, small video. I'm going to show you only um, how to create the, the account because I have already created uh, a different video on how to actually create the uh, e-commerce uh, website uh, using your Shopify partner account. Uh, also, I had a, a video on how to create uh, a Shopify partner account, uh, which I created, I think, roughly 10 months ago. Um, I've just noticed that um, Shopify since then has changed um, uh, the process a little bit. So I just wanted to create a new one so that uh, you don't get confused between the old way and the new way. So let's just get started. So first of all, uh, when you go to this uh, website, uh, www.shopify.com uh, forward slash partners, uh, you will see this. So to join uh, or to create a Shop Shopify partner account, you have to put in your email address here, uh, where it says join now. So you have to put in your email address here. So um, I'm going to put in my email address. All right, so then you have to click on this button called Join Now. And then you have to provide your details. So uh, your name. first name and last name and then you have to create a password so uh, it says your password must be at least five characters long and can begin or end with a space so I'll just choose a random password um, no Okay, so the password that I'm going to choose, I have to remember it so that I can log back in later on. So you guys need to uh, be careful uh, while choosing the password because you have to remember it. All right, then I have to click on this uh, button called Create Account. All right, so. So we get to this screen where you have to uh, click on this button. It says create new partner account. Then you have to provide your business name. So it's not necessary that it has to be your name, but it can be your name as well. Or if you're running a business, uh, let's say a marketing agency, so you can put your business name here. Um, yeah, so you have to just provide uh, the name or whatever the business name is. So I'm going to put in Sultan Global. Website optional, uh, city, Sydney, country, Australia, region, New South Wales. Then I have to uh, answer a few questions here. So the first question is, what is the primary way you plan to make money? So maybe um, we can pick like any of this depending on what we're going to do. So I can pick either this one um, or I can pick this one because if you are just going to sell products uh, and build a website only for yourself, you can pick this one. Um, so it really depends on what 
you plan to do. So, um, but if you're going to manage a lot of clients on under this uh, one partner account, you can actually click on uh, this option. But let's say you're going to only create a website for yourself, and uh, yeah, you're going to sell uh, products as a Shopify merchant. So, and then uh, they'll ask you which e-commerce platforms have you worked with uh, before, basically. Um, please select all that apply. So you can select the ones that you've worked with. Um, and then if you haven't worked with uh, any before, that's absolutely okay. Then you have to just say, um, you know, I'm not working with any e-commerce platforms. So you just have to click here. And then you have to say, I, ha I have read and agree uh, to the you know, partner program agreement. Uh, then you have to click on this. And then you're going to see um, uh, the, uh, this page. Um, so on the left hand side, you have all the, uh, you know, the, the menu um, and the buttons. Um, and the first one is stores. So that's where you need to go to create a new store. So if you click on that, you're gonna see this. No, currently there is no store uh, here. Shopify platform has already sent an email to your email address, uh, and so you just have to uh, uh, verify your email address, and then you'll be good to go. This button will be, you know, uh, enabled. Once you uh, verify your email address, and then you need to just click on this button to create uh, a store. So while I have you on the video, I'm going to quickly um, activate uh, my account by you know, clicking on the verify account uh, email or the button. All right, I've already verified my email address from my uh, tab. So I'm going to refresh this page. Um, so now you can see that uh, this button, Add Store, has been activated. And you just need to click on this button to create a new store. So uh, I'll quickly show you how to get there. Um, So now you have to pick um, an option from these two options. So let's say development stores, um, because you're uh, developing the store uh, from scratch. So you have to provide a store name. Uh, I'll pick a store name from here. So let's say Sultan. Sports. Okay, maybe I'll put them together. Yeah, it's available. So Sultan Sports. Uh, it it's it's not taken, so it's available. Um, so initially, it's going to be Sultan Sports dot my Shopify dot uh, com. Uh, once you uh, purchase your um, domain name, you can link the domain name uh, with your Shopify uh, store. But for now, um, it's going to be sultansports.myshopify.com. And the email, you can keep the email same or you can use a different email address for to, to log in to your uh, store. So for each store that you're going to create, you can use a different email address and password. All right, I'm not going to click on this because um, I'm, uh, I don't want to do it. Uh, I don't want to create a non-transferable store. So I'll just keep it unchecked for now. Um, so you have to put in your address wherever you are located. So uh, I'm going to 
I'm not going to uh, put in my exact address now. Uh, I'm just I'll just pick a random address. Um, now, what will you do with this store administrator? Um, uh, you can pick any of these options. So let's say build a build a new store for a client. So let's hit the button save. So it says success, your store is ready to go. So let's just wait for it to load. 